Hello everyone. I thought I'd make this video for you to uh, answer a few questions with regard to what is the difference between a refugee, an asylum seeker and a migrant. Now, does it really matter? Well, quite frankly, yes, it does. Because too many people confuse all three. Refugees are people fleeing persecution and armed conflict. An asylum seeker, however, is someone who claims to be a refugee, but whose claim has not been evaluated yet. A migrant is neither. A migrant is someone who was chosen to move, not because of a direct threat, but to improve their lives, finding work, reuniting with family, or, in the case of the majority of these chances that are coming across the channel every day, for free hospitality in hotels, and ultimately a house, with the added benefits of uh, free health care, free dental care, free school places, and the like. But as you know, I am a historian. I studied for a BA and an MA in history, and I'd like to share with you just for a few minutes the story of Belgian refugees that landed right here where I live, where I'm standing exactly 108 years ago in the middle of August 1914. So a little bit of a backstory. In order to enter France, which had strong border defences along the eastern side of France, which was known as the Maginot Line, Germany had to invade Belgium first. It was known as the Schlieffen Plan. But when they went into Belgium, they committed countless atrocities against innocent Belgian population. These include rape, torture, mass executions on an industrial scale. It was commonplace. So quite understandably, the Belgians fled. And get this, they fled to the nearest safe country that they could get to. And that's the UK. As many as 250,000 Belgians landed on the Kent shores. And this harbour here in Folkestone took about two thirds. I mean, in one day, 16,000 people landed here to rapturous applause. They were given meals, they were given clothes, they were given medical checkups. And one Belgian refugee said that people were scuffling and fighting to take my bags, take my suitcase. But the Folkestone people welcomed them with welcoming arms and took them into their homes. They took them into their homes because they saw that this was awful that was just happening some 23 miles across the shore. Now, at Folkestone Town Council, a war committee of refugees was, was summoned. And inside Folkestone Town Council, which I will show you now, is an amazing picture it was painted by one of such migrants called uh, Fredo Franzoni, who it was an artist, and he depicted this actual Belgian uh, refugees coming across into Folkestone Harbour. So you can see that's Stephen Penfold, who was the uh, mayor of Folkestone at the time, who was knighted the year later for his efforts in resettling Belgian refugees. Now, the Belgians who actually arrived, they worked hard. They worked so hard for the British war effort. For those that didn't stay in Folkestone, many went to London, but the majority, the vast majority, were moved up north to go and help with the war effort in factories, munitions factories, making bombs and bullets. And actually, because they were so skilled, helped with the British war effort. But after the war ended, 90% of all Belgian refugees that landed on the Kent coast, 90% went back home. 
They were so grateful for their hospitality and the fact that they were able to work. And they obviously kept up correspondence with people back home. But the Belgian government put out a call and said, please come home. You need to uh, we need to rebuild our country and 90 percent left. The 10 percent that actually stayed were people that had you know, formed a relationship or had families or whatever. But 90%, 90% of Belgians went back. It says here they left almost as quickly as they came. And the government said, if you don't go. And we gave them right, a free one-way ticket to go back. But you see, those landing today on my coast are not refugees like the belgian example i say again france is not war-torn like it was in 1914 neither is germany austria italy greece actually no country in the eu is at war now albania of which 40 percent make up the population of those landing on their shores have not had an armed conflict for 25 years so i'm just going to end this I'm going to end this with this thought for you. Stop calling them refugees or indeed asylum seekers. Call it what they are. They are illegal economic migrants. And that's a fact.